You don't like black pepper at all? Not really. I, I oh. prefer not to use it. I don't use it for seasoning typically. And, Interesting. Well, your, you know. your point is well taken. And for the listeners, Joy is okay. right on. Black pepper will increase the penetration of other active ingredients if you use it. But it can be a little bit irritating. It is a pepper. Okay. And, and it can be irritating to the stomach. Uh, okay. Get the Astra Ease off brightsidehealthproducts.com. Thank you so much. Okay, Joy. God bless. Taking my call. You Good too. luck. Have a, have a beautiful day. All, All right. right. Uh, there we are. Brad in uh, Georgia. What's going on, Brad? How you doing? Hey, bud. How are you? Doing great. What's uh, cooking? Man, I've got. I'm a professional cyclist, pretty much. Okay. And I compete at a high level, and I've got Hashimoto's. And okay. I've had it for a few years, or diagnosed with it for a few years. But um, I've and heard you're still you're, you're still doing the bike racing, even with Hashimoto's. Awesome, man. Well, I mean, I, I guess in the big picture, it's not that big of a deal, but this is just such an endocrine operator. Yeah. And I'm trying to fine-tune it. In this here's what you do. Here's, here's what, forget level. Synthroid. Here's what you okay. do. Hashimoto's, and this is the problem with Synthroid and the doctor medical strategy for dealing with thyroid problems. It's an autoimmune, correct? Correct. You have a okay. gland problem, not a hormone problem, primarily. And the horm- is that let me, why let me just finish my... Okay. Say again? Say that the again. TSH and the T, T4 is what Forget those. Correct. Those are medical okay. gibberish and naturopath uh-huh. gibberish, too, by the way, and chiropractor gibberish. This is where naturopaths <laughs> and chiropractors start to go into gibberish when they start doing the TSH and the TH and the T4 and the T3 and the different kinds of tests yeah. and the reverse, te- reverse thyroid, blah, 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 blah. You don't need any of this. And this is my beef with naturopaths and chiropractors. They think they try to do the medical thing with testing. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease, okay? Brad, you with okay. me? It's when yep. the body attacks the thyroid. Are the hormones going to be involved? Well, yeah, of course, because the thyroid is being attacked, but it's not a hormone problem. It's a gland problem. So if you take the Synthroid, you still have the gland problem. You follow me? You haven't corrected yes. the issue. And by the way, Synthroid is notorious for being highly ineffective and having, the, having to have your dose changed every time you go to the doctor. And because that's it, what I've been dealing everybody with. Everybody does, Brad, because yeah. you have a thyroid problem, not a, not a hormone problem. You have a gland problem. So Hashimoto's is when the body attacks the thyroid. So okay. you say, well, well what what's gives? Why would the body attack the thyroid? What happens when you have any autoimmune disease is immune stimulating factors are in the blood. The immune system is intelligent. So when it attacks these various factors in the blood... Other, fa- other uh, components of the body that are similar to those factors get, uh, get attacked too. You know, here's the thing, Brad. We're hamburger. We're steak. We're meat. From a molecular perspective, from a molecule perspective, the same molecules that are in food are in your thyroid. And when the body learns to attack those molecules that are getting into the blood inappropriately, they look like the molecules in the thyroid or any other gland. An autoimmune disease is nothing more than the body attacking itself because it's trying to get rid of something in the blood. Now, how do things get into the blood? There's not a lot of ways, Brad. All right. Are you an IV drug user? Are you in the, in the back alley shooting up crack? No. Okay. Probably not. Right. So how else can things get into the blood? I'll give you a clue. It starts with an F. Food. So, Brad, you sound like a smart guy. You're in your 30s or 40s? Yeah, I'm 37. Okay. So here's the deal, bro. You have to know that you have a digestive condition that you've had for a while. Autoimmunity is the end result of long-term digestive distress. It's a sign that things are getting into the blood through a leaky gut, through the digestive system. Is this sounding familiar? Have you heard of leaky gut syndrome and that kind of thing? I mean, I've heard of a lot of that stuff, uh, okay. but I don't. Would, I wouldn't would you, consider myself having a lot of issues as far as. Well, you have you know, to. If you have Hashimoto's, yeah. if you have Hashimoto's, the thyroid regulates the digestive system. So if you have a thyroid uh, problem, you're going to have a digestive problem because the thyroid yeah. regulates the digestive system. What's more, thyroid hormone is activated in the digestive system. So okay. on top of having, uh, on top of the thyroid regulating the digestive system and suppressing digestion, you're not going to be able to activate thyroid hormone. So now you've got a digestive problem. You're not activating thyroid hormone because the thyroid is now suppressed. It's going to cause more digestive problems, which is going to cause more problems activating thyroid hormone, which is going to cause more thyroid problems. And you get this vicious downward spiral. How do you cut the spiral? You check your foods. You look to digestive symptomology, most especially constipation with hypothyroidism. Okay? 
Okay. So you, you look for foods that are causing constipation, digestive problems, bloating, heartburn, gas, uh, a, a nausea, sense of fullness. Any kind of digestive issues need to be linked to foods. All right? The best thing to do is a food diary, if you can, or fasting, and then reinitiating your intake of food, starting with your favorite foods. Is this making sense, Brad? Yeah. Yeah. You, okay. Uh, the, the next I've thing to a, do, let me just say a couple more things. The next thing to do, because it's good bacteria in the gut that activate thyroid hormone, make sure you're eating fermented food and getting on a good probiotic supplement. Make sure you're using apple cider vinegar after all your meals and digestive enzymes after all your meals. The ultimate enzymes are a great digestive enzyme product. You could find that off uh, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Now go ahead, Brad. Okay. What were you saying? Uh, well, the, one of the reasons I was calling is because I've been doing a lot of research on trying to get this, and 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 I've I've read numerous times Synthroid Love with Thyroxine is notoriously ineffective, and that's what I'm going through. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, what about like an iodine supplementation? No, but, no, Brad, listen, you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to treat the hormone. You don't have a hormone okay. problem. You've got a gland okay. problem. Do you see the distinction I'm making between the yes, gland yes. and the hormone? Right, right. All the iodine so in the these, world isn't going to help you if you have a gland problem. And okay. Synthroid isn't going to help you if you have a gland problem. The problem is not in the hormone, it's in the gland. So you have to treat the gland with love. How do you do that? You stop the body from attacking the gland, and the attack autoimmunity equals digestive problem. This is why meta, the medical model is so flummoxed when it comes to dealing with these things, because it doesn't understand that the, the bulk of your immune system is located in the digestive tract, which makes sense because this is where the enemy gets into the body. And food represents an enemy. It has to be vetted. It has to be cleared. It has to be processed. If you have, if you have holes that are developing in the gut, so-called leaky gut, and stuff is leaking into the blood, an immune response will be initiated in the blood. And from there, it's a short jump to an autoimmune disease. All right, okay. and so, selenium falls in that as well, correct? So all of it. Not that they're not important, okay. though, Brad. I'm, they're, yes. they're definitely important, but they're not a remedy. They're not a magical treatment for a thyroid issue. All okay. right? So for the okay. thyroid or for any autoimmune disease, and most thyroid issues are autoimmune, any autoimmune issue needs to be recognized as a digestive problem, particularly processing protein which means protease enzymes are your best friend if you have an autoimmune problem. Let me say that again, you guys. This is so important. Protease enzymes are your best nutritional friend if you have an autoimmune problem, in addition to all the digestive strategies we talk about on this program all the time. Listen, I'm sorry I left you on hold. I'll be doing the Dead Doctors Don't Lie program today. If we left you on hold, call the Dead Doctors Don't Lie program. Tell them we left you on hold on the bright side, and I'll get you first up. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.